Let's bring in our colleague, the Hall of Famer, Jim Tomey. Jim's in Arizona serving as a special instructor with the White Sox, but he's also going to be one of a handful of former major leaguers who will be at Innings Festival this weekend in Tempe, Arizona. We're going to get to that in a moment. But, Jim, let, let's talk about the White Sox. Very productive sure. offseason, a lot of changes and additions. What sense do you get that this team is maybe ready to take that next step? Well, for me, I think it's the atmosphere. It's the way these guys have grown together. And the fact that, look, they're all really talented. They've been together now for a couple of years. We brought in some great additions. And uh, it's a vibe that you feel around camp that, look, they're ready, I think, to go to the next level. And uh, it's, it's been a real positive, great vibe. What about the addition of Dallas Keuchel? What what does he bring to that rotation? What are your expectations for him this season? Well, you know, watching him throw and then obviously expectations are very high. He was he was one of our big signings. I think you look at his history, you look at what he's done in his career. He's been in the World Series uh, and what he brings to our staff work ethic wise. He's you know, he's a positive guy and just having him around. You know, he's similar to me, which we had here with same as Mark Burley. Mm. And it's a very uh, it's a very positive feel when you get around him that he, he's just he breeds confidence. He builds everybody up and uh, having a guy like that around as a leader is great. Along those same lines, Jim, Yasmani Grandal, uh, what does he mean to this lineup? And more importantly, what does he mean to the rotation? Really, he's kind of the catalyst of it all for me. I mean, I've had an opportunity to speak with him now. I've been here about eight days and watching him uh, talk to the pitchers, you know, get with the hitters. So this is a guy that's, I got to tell you, he's really smart. He knows the game, not only from what he does behind the plate, but you hear him talk about what he does and mechanically, how he wants to approach his BP, He's just a guy that I think that we brought in and really you put him with McCann, who's kind of similar in a lot of ways. It's really added a lot of leadership as well to a uh, to a to, you know, to a team that is young across the board. And you speak of young. Uh, obviously, that turns my attention to Luis Robert. Uh, the, yeah. the, the young player signed that six-year, $50 million, $50 million contract with the White Sox in the offseason. He is physically impressive. Uh, what have you seen from him, and what are your impressions so far? Well, since day one, this kid is, you know, when we first got him, I think the thing that jumps at you is his athletic ability. The fact that, I mean, you look at him, he, as, as you guys know, John Hart would say it, he looks the part. But not only looks at he goes out and does it. He runs, he throws, he's got great power. You know, really all this kid needs now is experience, which we're hoping that he gets this year. You know, the sky's the limit. I mean, when I first seen him, I comped him as a young Vladimir Guerrero mm. to a degree. And that's, that's not an easy comp because you don't just throw Vladimir on guys. <laughs> but he, he's a... He's a guy that could live up to that, and uh, we're hoping that, again, they got to stay healthy is the main thing. But we're, we're excited here. We've got a fun group. We've got an exciting group that's ready to go. And uh, we just got to go through the grind of spring training, get through it, and then I think there's going to be some great things on the south side. Oh, absolutely. Definitely one of the more intriguing teams in 2020, the Chicago White Sox. Jim, I mentioned that you and a handful of other uh, former major leaguers, including our own Ryan Dempster, are going to be in yeah. Tempe, Arizona this weekend for Innings Festival. Saturday, the headlining act is the Dave Matthews Band. That's a good, good one to go to. And then Sunday, it's Weezer. Uh, any chance that you're going to be joining any of these two acts on stage, Jim, for maybe a little tambourine <laughs> action, backup vocals, something? No, I don't, you know, you know, I, I stay in my lane in that regard. <laughs> you know, I try to, I will be there. Demp and I will do some fun things on stage beforehand while do some stuff in the cages, which is more my lane, uh, as I think you know, but it's a lot of fun. I've been a part of this now for a couple of years. It's always an exciting thing. It gets the fans involved and, uh, you know, it's just, it's really cool. I got to tell you, you get to meet a lot of great people. We at the network are lucky that we, 
we, you know, we get to do events like this and yeah. be around it. So I'm excited. Well, in, enjoy the weekend. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. And as you saw there, for tickets and more information, you can go to inningsfestival.com. Jim, always great to catch up with you, man. Safe travels. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. All right.